I do. Uh, well, I, last week's show was probably the best show you ever... Oh, no, you did it! Last, last week, he got droned. He got yeah, sued. yeah. Oh, God. It, hey, it really, dude. dude what's really interesting still, about it... You can still cover that show. You can still cover that topic. That topic? Oh, heck no. I'll get droned again. <laughs> See, yeah, tell... Bodie, okay, go ahead, tell I, I don't... I don't know if everybody knows this, but uh, uh, Paul recently wrote a, an article. They got reposted in the Daily Sheeple. Uh, it was originally on iState, correct? iState.tv, that's right. And okay. then Lisa posted it on Daily Sheeple. Yeah, yeah. So it wound up on the Daily Sheeple. So anyway, uh, you also did a, a video on it. And, and didn't you do like a show that you embedded into the actual article? Yeah, I, I did a whole hour and a half documentary on thing basically okay all right so you did a documentary and miraculously somehow or another uh the internet gremlins funded by the Koch brothers slash soros who, who also uh, fund me yeah Zionist and the slap and, and and the slap a tribe and the lizard people from zoltron <laughs> which uh, indirectly all, the lizard people indirectly fund blue so yeah right yeah. so any everybody got everybody got together and you know, my own people sabotage me by sabotaging you. Uh, right. Well, well, actually, actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me keep burying the lead a little bit more. So Don't anyway, bury the lead, dude. That's fine. This isn't a real no, show. No, no, no. That's that's what I do. Is I bury the lead, and squirrels come back and find it later. <laughs> so anyway, you had done this video, and your audio just got all jacked up. Uh, I did. I did. I did redo. I I reposted a video with the with it edited so you can hear the audio. But yeah, the audio got jacked up. It was like really low. Even though when I recorded it, I did a test. Everything sounded good. And then I downloaded it to YouTube, and somehow between my computer and YouTube, the audio went like you could hardly hear it. Well, well, let's take it a little bit further. Not only did your audio get jacked up. Uh, didn't you lose 300 gigabytes, gigabytes of data? Yes, that's what I've been spending all this last few days redoing stuff that I lost. Mm -hmm. Yes. So anyway, so they got into your computer after messing up with your audio because you you went back and you did it again. You didn't learn the lesson. You didn't get the right. message that they were trying to send to you. Right. And you, you just couldn't take the fucking hint gordon <laughs> i did not oh dude it so, was you no put, hint so, so you put it so you was so you put it so you put the information out there again well me not knowing exactly as a matter of fact i don't even know if it was public knowledge that everything that had happened to you did happen to you not uh, at that but, point you should okay, see what so, i did to him uh, I I read about it on the internet before it got deleted. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, you might be the one person on the internet that actually has something completely deleted, Paul. But anyway, so <laughs> going back to my long-winded story here, I decide that this is worth covering because Paul had suggested covering it. He dropped it into uh, into a group that the fiends. Uh, it's it's like Fien, the AOL Fien, chat room. Fiendtopia. Yeah, it's it's the AOL chat room and and. We go in there, and, and people will drop little posts and suggest that something get covered on the show. I says, you know what? I'm going to cover this because you know why? I'll tell you why. It's because I like Paul. He's he's a good guy. Uh, he's probably the best infiltrator that I've ever had into the bake. I don't want to hear this. This is so, wrong. But, At first, I thought you were going down the no homo path, but now you took a dark turn there. Very dark you know, with turn. With the whole bacon lots, crap. That's the lots transcending of homo in your case there, Paul. But anyway, <laughs> so... Let me go get my wife and ask her. <laughs> anyway, who do you think put on the in the AOL chat rooms? But she's, <laughs> oh. just, she's just a cover. So oh. any, you've got so anyway. So anyway, I don't know she's about all this stuff. I don't know that all this stuff is happening. That he's got black helicopters flying over his house, trying to trying to spot a flash drive with with uh, like night night vision goggles and and starlight scopes and heat signature detectors and all this other crap. So I, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm going to do it. And, and we're, we're talking about in the beginning of the show, we're doing our little pregame and we're talking about, it. okay, yeah, we're, you know, I, I really want to cover this because Paul's a good guy and this is a really important topic. And, and then I, Randy, he's, he's kind of a crazy conspiracy. Oh, Rand, too, Randy he, English, Randy is yeah. awesome. I yeah. love that. Yeah. So, so he wants to talk about the lizard people infesting the school so that the, so the kids are eating crickets in the school lunch and everything. And <laughs> hey, I like I, that, crickets. They, they, that's, they, how, 
Yeah, I'm sure you do. Uh, well, Illuminati apparently, confirmed. Apparently, but Lou, anyway, Lou, you work. So, you look. You work for Big Canadian Bacon. Yeah, he does. He he does. That's the truth. Right You're a there. Canadian Bacon show. No. Yes, he does. I'm getting this. This is a live report right now. From... This is an actual, a live, uh, actual factual information. Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Lou Sanderfeen is the man behind marketing Canadian, and I use the quotes because this is a lie. Bacon. bacon. It's a loopy. It can be. It can that's, be sourced back to loopy. Well, that's completely false because everybody knows that I don't. You've never seen me drunk. Right, I haven't. I actually haven't. I'm All pretty right. sure we've so, seen you. Drunk. So therefore, I'm not Canadian. You've you've never seen me eat ham. <laughs> you've no, never I didn't seen say, me I didn't drink. say you were you've Canadian. Never seen me yeah, I, I but, said but, you, but, you you hoard yourself. Okay, but you but, hoard but yourself saying, to the Canadian just, bacon crowd. No, no, because you've seen me frying American bacon. As a matter of fact, you've gobbled it down rather gluttonously. I uh, was paid by the Koch brothers to do that. To make actually, you feel good. Actually, I have heard that you will eat fried bacon for free. I will not. Well, no, I, I will eat it for free if, if, if there's the meat, no baked bacon around. If the meat is free, Paul Gordon's mouth will be around it. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> free meat. I'm all about free meat. So, That's anyway. But, so, and yeah, it's... uh. What the fuck were we talking about? <laughs> we're, talking about uh, we're, we're leading up to what happened to Freedom Fiend. Oh, yeah, yeah, Because yeah, you were covering. By the way, you burying the lead. You didn't talk about the story. The story is uh, my. I, I got a letter from my daughter's school outlining a code of conduct for that's, my daughter that's, to follow. That's, a, that, 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 that's in the second hour of the show. <laughs> okay. I didn't know there was a second hour. <laughs> So I I just so looked at. Oh, there's going to be a second hour. Can I take a nap? Can you, can you wake me up? When no, we no, 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 no. I'm the only one allowed to nap while I talk. Okay. So anyway, uh, so yeah, I mean, we get ready. We're doing our pregame sound check and everything, and everything's sounding good. And and I mean, I just know that it's you know that we're it's going to be a super. Hard, hard hitting topic and, and everything else and it's, it, it, we're going to come out really strong and and we're like uh, I don't know maybe four minutes into the show something like that and GCN loses internet service and and I, I don't even know what all else happens but uh, we just got droned in like the worst way hmm. and at, at the end of the first hour I, I uh, the board op Jason called me up says yeah we still haven't got it and it's like you better take it at night and this is you know it, either either something's really broken or the lizard people have got us wow so oh by the way Lauren said she put us on anarchy girl thank you Lauren thank you oh, Lauren. thank you Lauren you're such a sweetie I wish so I wish Dave would share it to Seeds of Liberty. I already shared it to Seeds of Liberty. Oh. Or, oh, no, the Facebook, his, his their page. Dave, oh. share it to the Seeds of Liberty page, not the group, the page. Do it. Do it now. Do it. Do it. I'm, I'm not coercing you or anything. I'm Do just it. saying. But you're burying the lead because the story of of what, what why, what, you tell me. What, why was the story so, why, why did it trigger okay. such? To be honest, I'm not even really sure. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're, no, no. The, you're the, just going to read it on the show. You're like, I don't know. Yeah. No, what happened was your daughter received a code of conduct thing from the school, and it, it talked about uh, these five planks of the communist uh, junior Pretty manifesto. Much. The Marxist yeah. Leninist yeah. agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It, 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 it was, uh, was kind of North Korean in its mandatory patriotism type stuff. Well, it was more it about was, citizenship to the world. It was about being a good citizen. And the thing you had to sign was simply just an acknowledgement that you had received the letter, not that you would uphold these values. Well, I, no, I understand that, Bodhi. I understand that I was signing an acknowledgement. No, it, it wasn't that you received the letter, that you, could rev that you had a chance to review the material. And no, I didn't have a chance to review the material. <laughs> Because it didn't include all the real freaking material. Like, it, it totally glossed over the phrase, the whole child, when this whole thing is about the whole child freaking initiative. So what you're saying is that it was a lot like when uh, 
when you get like a ballot measure or something like that, it'll give like five lines out of a six thousand page bill and say, This is what it means. Right. This this means that money will come get created out of nowhere, right. but it, but there won't be any inflation or tax increases or anything like that, and all children will get an extra twenty IQ points. And then you sign and you, you, you vote for it, and like two weeks later a doctor in a white lab coat shows up with a nurse, and the nurse and sticks has a, chick- a, and n- and sticks n- a chicken bone in your ass and, and gives you six pretty, dollars. Well, I was just gonna say she showed up. Well, yeah, I was just gonna say she showed up with a you know with a latex glove on. And uh, do you have Vaseline, or would you like us to use ours? <laughs> 